empty kitchens empty fuel tanks empty pockets this is the story of new india where an elected government turns a blind eye to the issues and hardships of the very people who gave them power all in an effort to pretend sab changa si india's retail inflation breached the 6.26% mark and is hitting the indian budgets really hard cooking oil pulses fruits fuel and light see the sharpest rise in prices the food inflation rose to 5.15% in june compared to 5.01% in may inflation in the food and beverages category stood at 5.58% pulses one of the major sources of protein in our diet skyrocketed to 10.01% oil and fats inflation stood at 34.78% fruits too turned sour with 11.82% inflation inflation in the fuel and light category remained high at 12.68% in june in comparison to 11.58 the previous month it is important to mention that retail inflation rising fuel and food prices have risen due to the foolish policies and inept management on the part of modi government during dr manmohan singh led upa government the crude oil price was 125 dollars but petrol was sold at rupees 65 per liter and diesel at rupees 44 per liter today the price of crude oil is around 75 dollars a barrel so why is petrol above rupee 100 in several major cities Why is diesel closing in on rupee 100 mark? Why is LPG selling at rupees 933 per cylinder in Patna and rupees 835 in Delhi? The government is looting people by levying cesses of rupees 33 per liter on petrol and rupees 32 per liter on diesel. And keeping rupees 4.2 lakh crore every year to itself and not passing on the benefit to the people. Why is the government not reducing import duties despite the rupee losing its value? This will help reduce prices on intermediary and essential goods. Why does the Modi government have three irrational rates on GST? Why is the government charging 12 to 18% on essentials when they know that high rates have the tendency to push up the prices of the final goods and services? The Congress party demands that the central government should immediately reduce the prices of petrol, diesel and LPG and also review the import duties so that prices of essential imported goods are cheaper we also demand that gst rates be reduced on an array of goods that are mass consumed by the people cautionary warning to the government the issue of high inflation will not go away if you pretend it does not exist